Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The holidays are upon us and I thought I'd share some gift ideas for anyone in particular that you know is into the rose gold color. Rose gold has become a very popular metal color, uh, I feel recently. Uh, I love the color personally. I actually used it as one of my main color accents for my wedding back in January. For anyone who is a rose gold lover as myself, I have a few gift ideas, some items I purchased that I feel any rose gold lover would appreciate. Uh, and the prices are going to vary from kind of in the $20 range to close to $200. Some things are not that pricey, some things are a little bit pricier, so it depends on who you're looking for, whether it be for a friend, or your wife, or your sister, or your brother, or uncle, or, you know, girls and guys can like rose gold. I'll share five gift items today. Let me know which one's your favorite, and let's get on to the first one. My first gift recommendation is for someone that not only loves rose gold, but listening to music, podcasts, or whatever on the go. And they are these Satechi headphones. It's such a pretty rose gold finish on the sides of the headphones. Also the fact that it's a white and rose gold combination. This is one of my favorite color combinations. Um, and you have little buttons here as well to turn up the music or turn it down or whatever you're listening to. Um, and you can pair and turn on the Bluetooth with this button. So you can use this with Bluetooth, but it also comes with a cord that's pretty handy dandy. You can use the Bluetooth if you're doing activities where you require your hands, but it's nice that it comes with the cord as well when you need it. One of the reviews that I saw for this was that uh, a few different people were having trouble using the Bluetooth and it's a little bit tricky. It's down on this button right here. You have to press it down until it makes a doo 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 sound. And then if you want to pair it with a device, you press it down a little bit longer. Leave your finger there longer and then it will play another tone and that will tell you that it's paired with a device. On the inside, you also see that it tells you which side you should put each headphone on, which is really useful. A pretty gift idea for Someone who's traveling a lot for work or going to school, uh, they can listen to audiobooks, podcasts, uh, music, whatever. You don't get a scratchy effect with the sound. Uh, and it's pretty clear whether you use the Bluetooth or not. The Bluetooth doesn't create additional noise that kind of ruins the quality of the sound you're listening to. I hope you'll check it out for someone that wants to upgrade their audio aesthetic this holiday. Next up, I have a very pretty accessory to complete any outfit. It is this rose gold Ted Baker bow necklace. The bows kind of look like Hello Kitty's bow on the top of her head if you're familiar with that character. And I think this is so classy and very dainty at the same time. I wore this when I went to Paris and impaired it with my white off the shoulder ish top um, and again i think this looks really nice with a white shirt or a white dress uh, i think it just really adds that extra charm this one is more in the 150 200 dollar range and i don't think ted baker carries it anymore but in general i really enjoy ted baker's accessories they sell a lot of rose gold necklaces rings, bracelets, so check them out if you're looking for something rose gold. I'm sure you'll find something similar to this, but in a different pattern or a different design, um, but just as pretty. Enjoy the fact that the bows aren't too large, so it really just keeps that daintiness to it and it doesn't overpower an outfit. Um, I think power necklaces are really great if you want your accessories to stand out, but if you really just want an accent, I think this is the way to go. A great gift idea for someone closer to you as it is pricier. Moving right along, my next recommendation will spice up a going out in the evening outfit is this Ted Baker flat purse in rose gold, of course. 
Um, and one of my favorite parts of this purse is the chain detail. It's in this rich rose gold color, it's so pretty and very sturdy as well. Because there's fabric on the very top where it sits on your shoulder, this is very comfortable. So if you're going to be out all night, going crazy, having lots of fun, uh, you won't be uncomfortable. The body of the purse itself is this really shimmery rose gold color um, that's more muted, add you know that subtle touch or accent to your outfit. Such a pretty purse. I wear this purse all the time pretty much if I don't want to carry a bigger bag. Uh, even if I'm just popping out in the evening for a little while, I'll take it because it's easy to just throw in my essentials like my phone, wallet, keys uh, if I need to go out. Even if you're not a super social butterfly that goes out in the evening and hangs out with friends, I think it's a very nice pop to an outfit that will kind of make you stand out a little bit more if you don't want your outfit to be loud. I find that the bag is best paired most likely with like a cool toned outfit. Inside the purse as well, there's a little design. Tidbaker is known for making the inside of the purses kind of quirky. The back of the purse contrasts with the front of the purse. It's more of a very pale pink color. But yes, this is my third item. And again, it is in the $150, $250 range. If you're looking for a bag similar to this and in rose gold, Ted Baker almost always has purses in stock of a rose gold color. We're on the fourth recommendation now, and this will help a friend that is always late or is really bad at being on time. Can you guess what it is? If you said a watch, you are correct. So it is this beautiful Olivia Burton watch. So the face of this watch is in this more gold tone rose gold color. So not on the pinky rose gold side. Um, and you'll see that the numerals are also in the same metal. I really love the pattern inside. It's, it's kind of an intermingling between nature with the flowers, so something natural, and then the marble, which is more like cold and not as warm. I really like that contrast. It's more of a peachy pink color uh, for the band. Um, and my favorite part of the band is the fact that it can fit my teeny tiny wrist. A few different notches that you can go down. I can go down to the second notch and then it fits me like a glove. I love that I could find a watch that can fit my tiny wrist. It's been very easy to change the time on it as well. Um, you just have to pull out the little slot in the side right here. And then uh, just twist it to move the, the hands of the watch to whatever time you want it. This is a good gift to buy someone that normally wouldn't buy themselves such an intricately designed watch, maybe more of a utilitarian watch, but you know at the same time likes really pretty things as well. So I love this watch. Uh, I've been wearing it quite often. Um, I mean, to tell the time, but also because it's such a lovely uh, accessory to really brighten up and add a little touch of something else to my outfit. We're on to the last item now, and this last one is actually a makeup item that you can buy for someone that likes to do their eyes and add some pizzazz. So it is this Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eye Glitter. This rose gold, probably more on the coppery side in terms of shades. This is a definitely a must have for anyone that loves makeup to add a little bit of glimmer to their eyes, a little bit of drama for the holiday parties that they want to attend. It's a very pigmented color and very glittery and every, uh, every time you dip your brush back into it. Be very precise or you can easily spread it as well, which is really nice. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now, so I'll show you how I put it on. I dabs it onto the edges. It really adds that finishing layer to your eyes. I think the best part of this is that the formula isn't sticky. Any glitter dustings that you try to put on your eyes, they tend to be really sticky. 
Uh, and this one definitely isn't sticky. It's very, it feels very cool when you put it on your eyes and it's, and you can spread it very easily and it doesn't glue your eyes shut. I would consider this to be more of a luxury makeup item. It's not necessarily on the cheap side. It, it's in the $30, $40 range. So I think you should definitely get it for someone that really loves makeup. And you've made it to the end. So that's a wrap on my five gift recommendations for the Rose Gold Lover. Um, I'd love to do another one of these again, as I'm sure I'll collect more rose gold items that I want to blast out and share and recommend to everyone. So look out for that and uh, let me know what your holiday plans are. If you're going anywhere for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a great weekend. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.